The following past paper question, the question reads that nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to produce ammonia. So, uh, they've given you a reaction of the Haber process where nitrogen is reacting with hydrogen and it is producing NH3 and it's a reversible reaction. Uh, and the question states that mixture of one mole of nitrogen, so, so one mole of nitrogen and three moles of hydrogen gas and 1.98 moles of ammonia is allowed to reach equilibrium in a sealed in a sealed vessel under certain conditions. So these are your initial moles. So I'm going to write this down uh, and uh, I'm going to rewrite the equation N2 plus 3H2 and there is a reversible reaction and they're forming 2NH3, all of them are gaseous. So my initial moles uh, that have been added into the sealed uh, container are, you have one mole of nitrogen, so that's one mole then I have 3 moles of H2 and I have 1.98 moles of ammonia. Now these are my initial moles. Once they've been added in the sealed uh, vessel, uh, a forward reaction or backward reaction would occur. Uh, if more forward reaction occurs, the amount of reactants decreases and the amount of products increases and vice versa. So an equilibrium would be set up, forward and backward reactions are going to take place and eventually a time would reach when the rate of forward equals the rate of backward reaction. Now once the equilibrium has been reached it was found that 1.64 moles of nitrogen were present in the equilibrium mixture. So at equilibrium, so now we have the moles at equilibrium. The amount of moles at equilibrium for nitrogen are 1.64 moles. So this is 1.64 moles. Now compare these moles with the initial moles. Initially you added 1 moles, now at equilibrium you have 1.64 moles. That indicates that 0.64 moles, if you take the difference, uh, 0.64 moles extra of nitrogen have been produced. So, uh, so which means more backward reaction took place. Initially, you had 1 moles, 0.64 moles extra were produced and now you at equilibrium, you have a total of 1.64 moles. So, if 0.64 moles are produced, uh, 1 nitrogen is produced. Uh, and in the same ratio, three hydrogens are produced. For every one nitrogen, three hydrogens are produced, so it's one ratio three. So if 0.64 moles of N2 are produced, then the amount of moles of H2 that would be produced would be 0 0.64 multiplied by three, because the moles of H2 are going to be three times that. And so this would also be plus uh, so for every 1 N2, 3 H2 are produced, so every 0 0.64 moles of N2, 0 0.64 times 3 moles of H2 are going to be produced. And if more reactants are being produced, then the amount of products is going to decrease. So for every 1 N2, uh, 2 NH3 are going to be consumed. So it's 1 ratio 2. So for every 0 0.64 moles of N2 produced, uh, 0.64 moles times 2 of NH3 is going to be consumed. So my final equilibrium moles for H2 and N2 are going to be, it's going to be 3 plus 0.64 into 3 which is going to give me 4.92 moles. So these would be my equilibrium moles for H2 and my equilibrium moles for NH3 are going to be 1.98 minus 0.64 times 2. Uh, so this would become 0.7 moles. So this would be 0 0.70 moles and uh, so I have the equilibrium moles of uh, all three uh, of my reactants and my products and the final thing I need to do is uh, they are asking us to calculate what is the value of Kc under these conditions. We need to found, uh, find the value of Kc under these conditions. So Kc is the ratio of the products, uh, the concentration of the reactants versus uh, the ratio of the concentration of products versus the ratio of the concentration of reactants. Uh, so my product is NH3, so it's going to be the concentration of NH3 squared because the coefficient is 2 in the equation divided by the ratio of the concentration of reactants. So it's going to be N2's concentration divided by H2 concentration cubed. So I'm going to insert the values now. It's going to be point, uh, 0 0.7 squared divided by 1.64 and multiplied by 4.92 4 cubed. 
And so according to our expression, option A is going to be the correct option for this question.